Hey, 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 collective. Thank y'all so much for being here with me, tuning in and tapping in. Y'all already know who and what it is. I'm your girl, Bucky. And this, of course, is Sip This Tea Tarot. We're about to tap in with spirit and get the tea on your situation or whatever it is spirit needs for you to know at this time. Collective, all the messages here are general meaning. They cannot and will not resonate with each and every one of you guys. So please, just take what resonates between your story and leave the rest. Also, anything you need to know about my, uh, myself or my channel will be in the description box below. And of course, collective, I own no rights to the music that you guys may hear in the background. It's simply playing for us to vibe out to. So if you can hear it, collective, then go on and get your vibe on. Child, I had to rush through that because listen here. Some, it's somebody I heard that you done fell out with one of your friends. I don't know how long you was friends with this person. But I'm feeling like you and this person have fallen out. I don't know what the hell is happening now on social media, whatever the fuck. But it's a real feeling of this friend that is, ugh. It's like um that Rennie Rucci song, um, act funny. I'm going to fuck your baby daddy since I act funny. I'm going to make that bitch nigga spend the rent money. Yeah, it's that energy coming through. So it's like y'all got like an old friend or something. I don't even know when you feel out with this person. But it feel like y'all ain't been out on the outs for no more than probably, what, three, four, five months. But it's like this person is on some real get back shit, especially when it comes to your baby daddy, whomever this is I'm uh speaking to, or your baby mama, you know, take the energy how it resonates. Whether you with this person or not, I feel like this person ain't going though. This person like, hell no, because you know such and such a kill me and you. And the other part is this person don't even, this is a person who yo... Your baby daddy or baby mama warned you about, like, man, I don't even know why you fucking dealing with such and such, because such and such ain't, ain't they, they snake, they dirt, shit like that. Yo, like, yo, baby mama, baby, they warned you about this person. But now I'm feeling like this person is finna go after, yeah, your child's parent. And, but I feel like they in, a, in for a rude awakening. Yeah, look, rude awakening. <laughs> They feel it's like, hey, yo, baby, yo. like, nah, bitch, you crazy. This feeling like one of them, uh, them catfish, not catfish, them episodes, you know, they do do them YouTube things. And be like, can you want to call her boyfriend to see such and such and such and such? And they like, yeah. And yo, nah, somebody like, you must be out your mind. No. <laughs> somebody here is like, uh-uh. You do that shit by yourself. You go do that with somebody else because I ain't going for it. So, yeah, it's just like a real vindictive energy out here, holy, just holy spirit, just, ooh. I just threw that out there, because I ain't going to lie, I wasn't even going to record no more, because I did that uh full moon reading and kept saying new moon, and I'm like, damn, what's happening on the new moon? I don't even know when the new moon is. Yeah, it's like, I don't know if y'all used to go clubbing together, or y'all go to the same clubs. I don't know shit. Maybe you decide not to go out one night and your significant other or your baby mama, baby daddy, whoever this person is you got kids with, they out at the club and then this person just, you know, they see them so they just gonna shoot their shot. <laughs> I wish I could be a fly on the wall. This person, it's feeling like somebody here drink a lot. I don't know if it's your, your baby daddy, baby mama, your person, whoever the fuck this person is. 333 is I just said that. And this old friend, it's feeling like this old friend probably, you know, got a slight drinking problem as well. And this person do shit, like, uh, when they get drunk. They blame a lot of shit on the alcohol. Like, girl, I was drunk when I did that. You know, yeah, like that type of shit. But this bitch right here, yeah, she fits to try. Yeah, three of swords out just to try to break your heart. Three of swords here, collective. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, Energy. Yeah, it could be a, a a Scorpio or a Virgo to do something with this situation. Even an Aries, I'm feeling. Yeah, look, Tower. I'm telling you, you got a friend that you used to chill with. Yep. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Swords right there. Boom, boom. This bitch is trying to affect the rest of your life. It's like this bitch is trying to do whatever she can to make sure that you stay heartbroken for the rest of your fucking life here. And that's the goddamn truth. She finna come offer somebody something. Your baby daddy, your baby mama, your person, or he, or y'all shit this energy. Y'all know the genders that you fucking with here. I don't. Yeah. Look this how it go.
Yeah, I'm feeling like whoever this bitch is, I'm telling you, y'all better watch her. If she got, um, okay, look, if she got secrets on you, if uh, you're dealing with a Libra, uh, Sagittarius, if this bitch, or Scorpio, if she got um the letters O, V, and S are very significant here. If she got secrets on you, she finna try to take this shit to your person. Hoping like this is what is going to create this bond between them. Little do she know, your person don't even like her. <laughs> I'm her a rat. Your person thinks she a rat. And I ain't even, like, yo, it's, it's some real hood radish about this person. Your person don't like her. Well, your baby daddy, baby mama, they don't like her. Hold on, y'all. Okay, yeah, sorry about that, y'all. Key is busting my room. But little do this person know whomever they like. Your person, this person don't like them. Like, this person don't like nothing about them. And that's the truth. This person feel like, um, whomever this, your, your ex-friend is, your baby mama, baby daddy, your person, whoever this person is. I'm just going to call this person your person, whether it's your baby mama, baby daddy, or the person that you with now. I'm just going to refer to this person as your person because it's getting confusing as fuck to me. So, this ex-friend... Your person feel like your this ex friend is a whore, pretty much. Like they just will open their legs and give like themselves away to anyone. Yeah, it could be a Scorpio here for sure with the death card there. Yeah, like they don't even yo. I don't understand why this person even think this shit gonna work because your person and I know that you done clear you clearly communicated this to this person like. No, like, I'm sorry. Yo, like, your person clearly communicated this to you. Like, you already know <laughs> that this person, your person don't like your ex-friend. Somebody here laughing like, she go ahead. Because y'all already know she gonna get, uh, uh, her feelings hurt. Five of ones. This bitch in competition with you. That's all I'm feeling like her. Competition. Strife. Like, fighting. C conflict. That's all this person is about. That's why were you friends with this person? Because I'm feeling like two different energies. Your energy and this person's energy, they don't match at all collective. Like, what is this? Yeah, some of these people here, I'm telling you, they wasn't even on your level. But I see, look, five, six, seven. Somebody here moved, like you moved up. It's possibly a fire sign or an earth sign here. You moved up. Could be de uh, dealing with a Gemini, an Aquarius, a Libra, a Leo. Did I say Sagittarius? I think I did. Anywho, it's like you moving up. Like, you elevate. And this person is at a standstill. This could even be like your relationship moving to like a different level with these steps here. Yeah, this person doing too much. Like, your, per your person gonna burst this person bubble. Like, seriously. I don't even know why they feel like... You can't be... Yeah, Aries, the fool. They gonna make this, this ex-friend of yours feel like a whole fool. Because for one, it's like, yo, this ex-friend gonna try to come at them. They gonna be ignoring the fuck out of them. Like, girl, like, no, nah, ain't going on. It's like, they gonna try to be nice at first. But your ex-friend is like relentless, just doing all kind of little dumb shit. And then your person get, a, I'm feeling like this person get annoyed real quick. So it's finally just going to be like, to, they, to the point where they can't take it. And they just going to be like, man, get the fuck on. Like, I don't know. Yeah, I'm hearing like, they going to just like shoot this person down. Like they going to hit them where it hurt. The letters P and T could be very significant here as well. Yeah, look, now we had a five of swords. Man, this person doing all this shit because they jealous of you. Being petty as fuck. Gossiping. You know what I'm saying? This, that, that bird bitch type energy. You a boss, they a bird. What the fuck? This, this bitch who just be like doing shit behind your back even when y'all were friends because she was jealous of y'all, of you. 
probably even jealous of, you know, your connection with this person. Whether you with this person or not, you and this person still share like this bond, I'm feeling. And it's like that person is jealous of that because don't nobody that they deal with want to deal with them. Everybody they deal with want to get the fuck away from them. Hell, I want to get the fuck away from that energy right now. 10, 10 as I started saying it. Yeah, I would like for this bitch to exit. Her energy is horrible. This could be somebody that y'all work with. But I'm feeling like this is a person that you haven't been in contact with for a while. Somebody here could be 22 years old, 27. Maybe you uh, you were friends with this person for like a really long time. Y'all been separated for maybe like three months, three weeks, three months, uh, three years, something like that. You and this old friend. But yeah, look, I'm... <laughs> the three of ones is in the reverse. This jealous motherfucker right here is not... I'm feeling like this person is not going away. It's like they determined to make whatever situation you have into a love triangle Her, Yeah, Aries, Aquarius. I, I don't know why I said Aquarius, but I said it's Aries, Sagittarius. But there's a... This, this ex-friend here, they determined to make this a third-party situation here. Yeah, look. The moon cord. It's something like somebody determined to come. Y'all, whoever this is, well, like I said, whether y'all together or not, I still see y'all on like the same page here. Whether even if it's just for y'all kids, y'all real cordial, you know, real respectful to each other. It's an ex-friend right here trying to come in and break that right up. That can be this person's ex-friend. It can be your ex-friend. Shit, somebody got them ex-friend here. Yeah, and then we got the... You can't make this shit up. They trying to close this shit out. And they being sneaky as fuck by doing it. You ain't talked to this person. You ain't seen this person. Nothing. But this person finna make a return back into your motherfucking life. Only to try to break some shit up. Holy shit. Yeah, Queen of Cups. They, It's a lot of love here between... Man, look, let me tell you something. This person here is crazy. It's like they love you, but they mad at you and they jealous of you. Some of them want to fight you, but they can't stop watching you. But I don't feel like you you don't you don't pay this person any mind. This is like the last person that you expect to come into your life again because you haven't spoke like it's like when you cut this person off you cut them off you haven't had shit, shit to say you haven't seen this person nothing this person is on their way back this is an old friend. Someone who claimed that they love you. But I see that you look, y'all, it's it's conflict between y'all. Y'all backs are against each other. And now this person finna cut try to come in and make shit even worse. Simply because they jealous. Because you not paying them no mind. Still, you not paying them no mind. Yeah, you could be an Aquarius here. Look, we got two queens right here. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Now, this is the Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, Queen of Swords, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Scorpio. It could be a Virgo involved in this situation as well. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling like somebody's... Um, Look, I'm telling you, somebody, I'm here and let me cater to you. So it's like this person here, ooh, this is a dirty bitch. This bitch is trying to be just like you to lure this, like, capture this person's attention. <clears throat> yeah, she didn't want me to say that. She trying to be just like you. This bitch watch everything you do. Some of y'all are really, really good cooks. Sorry, y'all. They out here cutting the grass. Come get your tablet, babe. Some of y'all are really good cooks. This bitch just burns shit up. I'm, I'm feeling like this bitch can't even cook green beans. But it's feeling like she, she will just like 
give and give and give until she gets this person. But little do she know the person don't, I don't give a fuck what she give them. They don't want nothing to do with her. Yeah, look, she, I'm telling you, they don't want shit to do with her. On the cool, I'm going to tell y'all something. Whether you with this person or not, I'm feeling like this person still got their eye on you. It's feeling like you embody everything that this person wants. So I wonder why y'all not together. Because I'm feeling like you very loving, but you know exactly when to pull that sword out as well. You know exactly when to pull that sword out. I'm talking about somebody culinary skills here. It's like off the motherfucking charts. Like I'm, I'm looking at somebody being able to cook over like I'm wearing hibachi lifestyle. Damn. Yeah, but this bitch here, I'm she trying to be just like you. Yeah, it's like I'm telling you, she she wants your life like new begin. She wants you. She wanna be you. Whomever this is resonating with. And I guess she feels if she get this person, it'll make this. I don't know. This bitch is ignorant. Holy Spirit, give me more on this situation, please. Give me more on this situation with this crazy person. Holy Spirit. Yeah, we got the hangman. It could be a Pisces here. <clears throat> the letters L, T, and P are very significant here. This uh, hangman really has my attention. And it's right here with the Ace of Pentacles as well. I'm going to have to clarify these two cards because it's very Holy Spirit. What is the hangman and the Ace of Pentacles here? What is the... Yeah, we got the Queen of Pentacles and then we got the Ten of Cups. Okay, okay. So look, check it. So that's what this ace of wands on the bottom of the deck is about. Whomever this crazy doppelganger wanna be you ass bitch is, she jealous of your life. Like the part this, I don't know if this is like your baby daddy, like I said, baby daddy, baby mama, uh, the person that you with now. Whomever this person is, they really, really care for you. They make sure that your life is very comfortable. Whomever I'm speaking to, it's like you and they are y'all on the same page. Y'all co-parent well if y'all not together, shit like this. This person knows that your, your, your person still has a lot of feelings for you with this Ten of Cups. They know that this person actually wants to be with you. They do. Again, this person right here, they having money troubles, everything. They home falling apart. They baby daddy ain't contributed a bitch ass thing. They figure that if they get your person, then they going to have everything that you have. Jealousy. Hey, being petty. Hand vindictive yeah yeah so since she don't want to be my friend no more yeah i got that bitch i'm gonna i'm gonna take her baby daddy i'm gonna make him spend the rent money yeah you heard what i'm saying what's wrong with your tablet babe my tablet my tablet start what's wrong can you bring it to mommy please yeah but that's what this is about she trying to get that money she trying to get your person so he'll take care of her. And if she has children, so he'll take care of her children. Hold on, y'all. Okay, y'all, yeah. Sorry about that again. But, yeah, she figured, like, if she get this man, then he gonna do everything for her that he do for you. <laughs> she figured this is her new beginning, yeah. I'm feeling, I'm hearing her comeback. So, shit, y'all. And then we got three of cups on the bottom of the deck. It's feeling like this bitch don't... <laughs> Whomever this is, this woman don't mind that this man... She know this man got feelings for you. She know this man got a lot of love for you. She don't mind that. She don't mind being in a third-party situation here. As long as he can take care of her. Y'all heard what the fuck I said. Why, are why, why were y'all friends with this person? Anymore. Yeah, we got judgment here. Mm -hmm. 
I'm telling y'all, it's some secret. I'm feeling like it's a secret that this woman know about you that she fits to let out. She fits to tell your person. She trying to like wake your person up. I don't you if you I don't know if you have um if it's you, your person, and y'all have a child, or if you and your person have two or three kids together. But either way it go, this woman here, it feels like she finna try to say something like, you know, your baby ain't his or some shit like that. The letter R could be real significant here. And if you don't have children with this person, it's just this person is like going around just like gossiping about you to this person because they know this person got a lot of love for you. Yeah, I'm, this woman is a is a she play a lot of games with men, whomever she is. Don't even have to be a woman; it could be a man. Y'all put the energy where it goes here. The number seventeen here is significant for some reason. Somebody here got a five-year-old and a 12-year-old. I'm, I'm 10, the 12, 10, 5, and 1. Somebody is like, you know, why you, somebody got a lot of fucking kids here. And whomever this ex-friend is, they like, you want to, why, you know, you got to be with this, all these kids and all this other kind of shit. Some of these kids aren't even yours. Like, somebody's just really trying to get into your person. Er, but your person is just like, bitch, move. Like, I don't, maybe some of y'all, your person was cool with this friend. Or this could, okay, come through spirit. Some of y'all, this is this person's friends. It's this person friends doing this shit to keep y'all away from each other. It's like, I don't know if your person came into some money or something. But it's like somebody trying to keep you and this person apart so they can keep your person giving to them. So they got a lot of shit to say about you. So it's two different stories out here. Some of y'all got a friend that y'all don't fuck with no more. This bitch on some get back shit for whatever the fuck reason. She jealous. She gossiping. She being very, very fucking vindictive. She finna try to get at your person because she wants your fucking life. Real shit. She feel like if she get your person, then he can do whatever the fuck he doing for her. For, for me, for you, for her. And her and her is gonna be straight. She don't give a fuck if it have to be a third party situation. This woman just want to break your heart. It's like she want to ruin whatever the fuck you got going on her. She want to make sure that this affects you in a major fucking way, collective. Others of y'all, y'all got a person here who want to come back towards y'all who friends all in their fucking ear about you. If you got like three, four, you know, a lot, you know, three, four, five kids, it's like, why you want to be with this bitch and she got all these motherfucking kids and you want to take care of these kids and all this other kind of shit? These people are just hating like a motherfucking tower. Because why they know this person want to come back to you? This is motherfucking crazy. They want to make sure. Look, you got nine. We got that that tower, the six of swords. Then we got the nine of pentacles here. They want to make sure this person is single and not committed to you with the higher. It could be a Taurus. But this person got a lot of. It's a lot of hater ass energy out here. A lot of hater. Okay, I will. Here's all me to shuffle. But it's a lot of hater. Oh my goodness, y'all. This is ridiculous. And this ain't even a lot of cards. This is craziness. But I'm feeling like this person is waking up to whomever these people are. And yo, the, that person with your ex-friend, the baby, please. I'm feeling like this, this your person embarrassed this bitch in front of a group of friends, a group of people, and not think shit about it. Y'all person rude, kind of. But I, they, they love him, but they don't got time for that bullshit. That's what it's feeling like. I'm also feeling like the moment that this shit happened, you're going to be one of the first people to know about it. Like, they're going to go tell their homeboy, and they're going to come straight to you. And they're going to tell you exactly what this bitch did. <laughs> oh, 
goodness gracious. 